Team and drum up. That was a quick start. Team Aries, led by Kristen Reagan. She is from Huntsville, Alabama, and she is a graduate of Auburn University. Team Luna, led by Colton Harbin. He is from Ardmore, Alabama, and he is a graduate of Calhoun Community College. Team Vigilantes, led by Katie Basham, call sign Hunt. 
Lucky. He is from Mombasa, Kenya, and he is a graduate of Liberty University.
Please hold your applause until all names are read for the teams. First up, starting with Team Andromeda, led by Andrew.
Team Aries this week. When Richard and I first trained in as crew trainers back in January, we heard all about Saibas and how amazing it is. And Richard and I both feel the same when I say that words cannot do justice to this week. Much like words cannot do justice to this team. But that does not mean that I'm not going to try. So, we have had a truly out of this world experience this week. These guys may come from all over, but they truly became a team. They worked together to tackle every astronaut simulator, mission, and rocket build. They even teamed up to call Richard L for his lack of Harry Potter knowledge. But they soon, they soon gave him a quick lesson in that. They also tried to play a couple pranks on me, but that's fine, it's fine. And I know that at least my girls, every time they hear a knock-knock joke from now on, Instead of answering with who's there, they will answer crew trainer. <laughs> <laughs> but what impressed me the most and made my heart swell with pride was how they confronted their problem, their issues this week. Any time they came across anything, any kind of obstacle that came in their way, they worked together. They talked it out, they found the best solution, and they pushed forward. Among this group stands our future scientists, engineers, mathematicians, teachers, and maybe even a couple of astronauts from what I hear. And parents, friends, family, if you see your trainee up here, just know that you should be very, very proud because they're going to have a lot to tell you. So, I wish I could stand up here and tell you everything, but I'll let them tell you on your way home. So, as much as I hate to see them go, I am very proud of them, so I guess I will graduate them. <laughs> so, Team Aries, it is time to graduate. You have to. <laughs> all right, all right, I guess, I guess. All right, up first we have Canyon Bland from West Virginia. Andrew Fass from New Jersey. Desiree Eastbrook from Canada. Emma Griffith from West Virginia. Sean Meek from New York. Brooke Petro from Kansas. Isaac Brasky from Illinois. Sophia Ripstein from Florida. Ian Scroggs from West Virginia. Ava Sherrick from Massachusetts, not Michigan. Townsend Stimple from West Virginia. Charlie Strawn from Alabama. Jalen Thompson from Texas. John Todd from Tennessee. Madison White from Texas. Evan Wilkerson from North Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest members of the Mars Generation, Team Aries. We learned about the mysteries of 
and truths about space. And eventually, we learn those things uh, about us. I would have to say that this team has been a blessing to me. I learned that if you believe in yourself, try your best, you can do anything. Always, always push your abilities to the max. Let your spirit take you to infinity and beyond. Make me proud, Team Ludo. Let's graduate. Anthony Ashby, Missouri. Jari Elliott, Missouri. Anastasia Gray, Missouri. Mary Hefty, Missouri. Heidi Claudia, Missouri. Thanasis Masalios, Greece. Tamir Gisabovic, Florida. Yanis John Polinifis, Greece. Logan Posey, Missouri. Janine Richard, St. Lucia. Sean Schroeder, Missouri. Richard Tinsher, Missouri. Kensington Willis, Missouri. Reagan Ryan McAfee, Missouri. Team Luna. Up next, we have Keith with Team Bobos.
day I met everyone, everyone was very quiet to themselves. But throughout this week, everyone had become close friends. It's a very great sight to see every day how they become more talkative and more friendly every day. This week was very interesting. It was my first week. I will miss everyone dearly. Even though I have a few trainees that challenge me to a dance off and sing off, which I'm going to win regardless, but we're going to leave at that. With that, they graduate to the most. First, so we have Alicia Brown from Maryland. We have Charlie Chow from Massachusetts. We have Tom Jarassi from Massachusetts. We have Nicholas Green from Georgia. We have Chance Lyon from Maryland. We have Victoria Dungo from Massachusetts. We have Asulu also on Yali from Maryland. We have Asa Rogers from Illinois. We have Damien Snowsner from Canada. We have Julia Stoutberger from Maryland. We have Isabella Watt from Illinois. Congratulations, Team Demos. Shabam Tandon from India. 
and Carter Town from Missouri. I present to you Tina Lisa. Up next, up next we have Justin Goss with Team Marinara. Good evening. My name is Justin Goss, and along with our day trainer, Brianna Montfort, I've experienced the absolute pleasure of leading Team Karen Harris throughout this unforgettable experience. We had a plethora of challenges set before us and overcame each one of them in our own classy ways. There were many infield promotions in Area 51, screams of excitement in UAT, medical anomalies that went haywire, and random chance started in the cafeteria. This eager team of trainees kept me on my toes at all times. I am beyond grateful for the opportunity afforded to me to lead this team of high schoolers and recent graduates through this one, once in a lifetime adventure. While I hope that I was able to teach you a thing or two this week, I can truly tell you that you taught me more than you'll ever know. Thank you, Team Pasta Sauce, for letting me, let me be a part of your team. Now, let's graduate. First, we have Kobe Berglund from Iowa. Seth Berglund from Iowa. Joseph Fox from Kentucky. Benji Gulliford from Australia. Candy Herrera from Tennessee. Aaron Hall from West Virginia. Alexandria Louie from Oklahoma. William Lowry from Alabama. Alec Olson from Minnesota. Ron Pearson II from Alabama. Hope Robinson from West Virginia. Sam Tupi from Minnesota. And Rochelle Zampella from Oklahoma. Congratulations, Team Mary Harris.
zeal, and courageous spirit. Team Isidus, this week we had teammates swim for the very first time in their lives, climb to heights higher than they ever climbed, and we even had one teammate explore depths of the UAT that no other Savage trainee has ever been brave enough to do. And for me to say that Casey and I are extremely proud of you would truly be an understatement. As I wrap up, I'd like to leave you all with this quote. Whenever you find yourself doubting how far you can go, just remember how far you've come. Remember everything you've faced, all the battles you've won, and the fears you've overcome. So I challenge each of you to keep overcoming your fears just as you've done each day at Space Camp. So with that team incidents, let's graduate. Starting with Anthony Bynum, Massachusetts. Lizzie Capelli, Connecticut. Makai Kuthman, Michigan. Yanni Edgar, New York. Leonardo Gil Ruiz, the Dominican Republic. Olivia Hernandez, Texas. Anderson Interiano, Massachusetts. Cami Jackson, Texas. Arthur James, St. Lucia. Dora Shang, Texas. Jordan Lister, Texas. Thomas Raines, Oklahoma. And Brenna Stockton, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Team Incident.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mark Simpson, 19 leader for Team X. I would also like to thank my day team leader, Stephanie Clark, along with the supporting robotics lab staff, Daniel, Nick, Jonathan, Bradley, as well as uh, chaperones, Laura, Lisa, and many others. Team X is named for, the, for that other fundamental component that helps make wheeled vehicles roll, the humble accident. The ladies and gentlemen that have made a team axle came from diverse areas of the U.S., from the Midwest to the Southwest. They have also brought forth an interesting collection of traits. Imagination, such as a robot mouse catcher that catches computer mice. A robotic cop that can chase you and slap its handcuffs on you if you reach too close. <laughs> Inspiration, such as the way each one of you jumps in to help one another. We just saw that just a moment ago. Innovation, such as making a Lego hand trowel mounted onto a robot to move a big meteorite. Determination.
Paul Sign Buddha, and I, alongside my day team leader, Kaylin Hampton, Paul Sign Goldie, led Team Will Clock. The 15 trainees before you come from Canada, Ireland, and the United States. The past week has been one of the most humbling experiences I've been a part of. The constant laughter radiating from this team is contagious, and you couldn't help but have a smile across your face. I witnessed this team based obstacles they thought they could never accomplish and finished them with flying colors. The word inspiring is a remotely close to describe this group. Thank you for this week and being so amazing. I've enjoyed my time with each of you, even if it included getting pushed off the raft into the water. Thanks, guys. I hope you all leave here with some new knowledge of aviation and know a mile of a highway will take you just one mile, but a mile of a runway will take you anywhere. And with that, let's graduate. Up first is Tessa Accord, call sign Crush from West Virginia. Woo! Zachariah Allen, call sign Red Dot from West Virginia. Denise Boucher, call sign Wicked from Missouri. Jaden Burroughs, call sign Striker from Maryland. Tevin Crawford, call sign Switch from Montana. Trenton Elkins, call sign Cheesecake from Missouri. <laughs> Noelle Dobbs, call sign Ackmel from Missouri. <laughs> sorry, Ackmel, I always hear what I'm sorry. Austin Johnson, call sign Jaguar from Missouri. <laughs> Brandy Maggie, call sign Flyer from Louisiana. Audrey Mattingly, call sign Bruise from West Virginia. Amar O'Brien, no. Amar O'Brien, call sign Terminator from Louisiana. Uh, Gabriel Shelke, call sign Raptor from Canada. Connor Better, call sign Tanker from West Virginia. Claire Wright, call sign Pink Lady from Missouri. And Max Fulham, call sign Terry Gold from Ireland. Jacob Rockledge, call sign composer, Missouri. 
Benjamin Stay, Kalsar Roadrunner from Australia. And Cassidy Storrister, Kalsar Medic from Montana. And even though they couldn't be here tonight, uh, we also had Damon Norris, Kalsar Detective, and Dylan Norris, Kalsar Motorhead. Uh, but with that, give it up for Team Argonne.
who will take it away. Many obstacles that we have put in their way. 
They have a budget and they have to balance their costs. You have to have earned a certain amount of bolts to qualify for the prime contract. And Team Axel earned enough points to get the prime contract. I can have the logistics supervisor come and accept for your team. Our next award is the Flight Award, and the Flight Award is given to the team that exemplifies teamwork and the ability to perform beyond their peers. This team has earned points in team competitions like their land missions and their air missions. This week's Aviation Challenge Flight Award for Mach 2 goes to Global Hawk. <laughs> Mach 3, Argonauts. The next award is the Admiral's Cup, and it is given to the team in program that shows outstanding team spirit. They work together and they have built a strong team identity. The team strives to be positive role models to others and have great attitudes. This week's Aviation Challenge Admiral's Cup goes to the Vigilantes. Now the next awards are individual awards. So when I call your name, I need you to come up and accept your award. The first one is the right stuff. And the right stuff is given to an outstanding trainee for the week in the various programs. It is given in honor of our early space and fire pilots who have sacrificed in the early space program as test pilots. We give the Right Stuff Award to the Space Camper or Aviation Challenge who shows some of the same characteristics and traits of those brave pioneers. Space Camp Right Stuff goes to Madison White Team Aries. For Space Academy, Tamari Pisakovic, Team Luna. Goes to 
Cassandra Street, Team Axel. Carpenter, 
retired superintendent of the West Virginia Schools for the Deaf and Blind, and Kathy Johnson, a previous SABIS coordinator. Mr. Carpenter was responsible for the initiation of the program for the blind and visually impaired children in 1990. It was through his encouragement and efforts that the program continues today. Kathy Johnson was among the first teachers to visit Space Camp at the request of Ed Buckby, former director of the U.S. Space and Rocket Center and founder of Space Camp. Kathy was the leader of the program during its infancy and was dedicated to making the program available to the blind and low vision children. Kathy retired in 2007 and passed away in November of 2010. The staff and the students of the West Virginia School for the Blind first attended Space Camp in 1990 with 20 students and five staff members. This year, 2017, is our 28th year. 174 campers from 24 states, Australia, Belgium, Belize, Canada, Costa Rica, Greece, India, Israel, Ireland, Romania, St. Lucia, and Trinidad and Tobago are represented at Sidez. The Max Carpenter Kathy Johnson Award is given to the student who personifies the spirit of space camp and the aviation challenge, and at the same time, overcomes their personal obstacles to perform their duties and team assignments while maintaining the respect of their teammates and counselors. This is not the right stuff award. I always ask the teachers and the group trainers and other staff members at Space Team and Aviation Challenge to write nominations for this award. I can honestly say since we've been doing this, we have never received more nomination forms for one camper than we have this time. Um, it's impossible to read all of these forms. Um, but it, it just sort of goes without saying that this many people are nominating. Um, this, would be, this would be the guy to uh, give the award to. So without further ado, like Michael Hayes to come forward.
individual award, and this is an internal award. It's called the Crew Trainer of the Week, and we got nominations for the Crew Trainer of the Week, so I need Colton Harvin to come up and accept his Crew Trainer of the Week.
Nolan later did trajectory analysis research for Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo projects. One of the highlights of those years was the opportunity to make numerous presentations in person to Dr. Werner von Braun. Once a child considered by the state of Louisiana to be too handicapped to function outside of a protected environment, Nolan's accomplishments, both at NASA and his later career, offer inspiration for all who face challenges. His message is, pay attention to this, find your passion, get the best education you can, and then never accept you can't do that as an answer. Those are very wise words. So I would like Mr. Nolan Brew to stand up. Everybody, please applaud a great man and a great thing to do. Mr. Brew flew in from Houston just to attend this graduation ceremony tonight. So after um, some of the parents or teachers want to chat with him, I'm sure he'll be glad to talk with you after graduation is over. I'll turn it back over to Catherine Schell. That concludes our graduation. Before we exit, I need the Right Stuff Hero winners, the Right Stuff and Hero winners, to come back up front to, because you need a photo op, safe travels home, and we are so glad that you are now a part of our Space Camp Aviation Challenge family. Congratulations and safe travels.